All right, all right. I think we are live and the sound is good. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. You know what? Actually, let me push the audio of the game a little bit more. Let me know in the comments if this is actually too loud, but uh, last time I checked the video, it sounded the opposite. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of our Warhammer 40k Keo Chaos Gate Grey Knights Demon Hunters campaign um, plus DLC. I really need to find a quick way to pronounce this uh, game's title, uh, since it keeps getting longer and longer the more they add. In any case, this is uh, episode 2. And uh, I gotta say, I've never had a supremely successful start as the one we did on episode 1 to a campaign. Right now we have conquered two different missions thanks to uh, planting prognosticars at the right time. And uh, I think we obtained way more rewards than we were hoping for. So right now I want to think how to move into the future. And I have two options to consider. The first one is... Can I put myself in a position where I grab two different missions? Uh, and I think the answer will come from going... Hmm, that's difficult. It's it's a gamble, right? Like, you have to find the right spot for all of it. So I'm gonna go over here, just like last time. I was thinking of this other system as well. Um, but somehow it does not feel right. Okay, so... Now that the basic repairs have happened, uh, I can try to explain a little bit more of what goes on in basically the meta layer base, which is your ship. There are multiple things to pay attention to. Your ship has a whole integrity. There will be events throughout the campaign that will reduce this whole integrity, and at zero, you just lose the campaign. Of course, your ship is destroyed, so how can you continue playing? Um, there are multiple ways to avoid this. There are repairs, there are uh, reinforcements. I believe the reinforcements are like here, void shields, yeah. Um, gun batteries would help you against later events, so you don't need to rush them at the start. Uh, and even if you are damaged uh, at any point, you can use the mechanical bay repair, um, which costs you a hefty bunch of servitors uh, in order to repair it to full. And of course, there comes the dilemma of uh, do you start repairing as soon as you get the first damage or when you are about to explode, uh, because the cost will always be the same. Other than that, there is a main energy type of research which doesn't do anything on its own, but allows you to uh, get all the other upgrades. This is the plasma reactor, which we have to now absolutely do. And without it, many of the other upgrades cannot be touched. Uh, I'm a bit surprised to see that this only costs 6 servitors, but yeah. The plasma reactor upgrades usually are supremely costly in Illyrium or servitors, so whenever you get a chance to push it forward, it's probably a good idea so that you can unlock everything else, because check out the requisites, requires output, requires output, requires output, requires output, output, uh, I guess you get the idea, right? Like, we are talking about so many points where this uh, upgrade influences everything. Alright, so we start doing the basic energy system and we go back to our geoscape. Systemscape? What do we call this? Alright, three new missions have showed up. And my god, these are all terrible positions. In cases like this, where you are 99% sure you're only going to get to one, right? Look, look at this perfect distribution over the systems. Then the best thing you can do is check out the rewards. And now that we have opened the armory, things are a little bit different. On the one hand, every mission is now going to give us one money, at the very least. There are some missions that give you more. This is called uh, acquisition, requisition. And then there are um, extra layers of challenge added optionally to your mission, where if you fulfill a requirement, you get extra requisition. If you fail the requirement, you lose one requisition. So it's kind of important to know how far you can push your own team, how uh, restrictive the type of uh, 
deed would be. And of course, this pales, uh, doesn't pale. It this compiles together with all the other rewards where you have to pay attention. Do I really want to push for this? Uh, is this the right place for me? The cool thing that you can observe at the bottom is that with a tiny mouse over, you get to see what type of reward you're going to get. It's very obvious and readable from uh, melee weapons, for example. There are many different kinds. A hammer would be very interesting for our tank. Plus Terminator armor, which also would go to our tank. Uh, and then a piece of war gear, which is not a skull. It's probably either a passive increase to uh, attributes. No, actually, that's it. It's uh, war gear in general can only be equipped and gives a passive uh, bonus to it. Let's check the other missions. Plus one requisition just for a mission completion. This, in general, as long as it, uh, as, as good as it looks, is actually the worst reward, because requisition can be gotten in so many other ways. Um, but for example, grimoires or servitors are a lot harder to get. So let's go back to examining all of these options. This is two scientists. Uh, additionally, it gives me three items that I probably will want to buy because uh, Hammer is currently being used by the tank, Terminator armor will be used by the tank soon, and War Gear will always be good to have. Let's check the second one. Requisition is not a good reward, Swords are not very interesting, Power Armor is very good though, and Tier 1 Grenade probably not the best. In addition, this mission will ask me to win without willpower. So the best thing this mission will do is, is uh, accumulate a lot of requisition. Which is not bad at all. Finally, um, we have a very easy condition mission that gives servitors, which I am running desperately low on. And is followed by a melee weapon reward, power armor reward, and grenades, uh, and it's it's falchions. The problem I have with this one, hmm, actually I don't have many problems. Uh, the main problem I have is that the amount of uh, requisition that we get is very low. So let me check this one again. And here we would get three. We possibly can buy everything out, and we get two grimoires, which help me with research. Ah, yeah. Speaking of that. So that's probably the mission we're going to go to, but let me explain you why. Um, there was something that happened during the uh, conversation with the Grand Master, which gave me a choice, and that choice influenced the type of outcome that I saw from that event. In that particular case, I pissed Vakir off <clears throat> because I dismissed her plague's uh, uh, worries, and that makes her actually be influenced on her research speed. So right now we are researching at a pretty low rate. Which we can try to offset by getting more um, of those grimoires. That's what they're called. Alright, so we go back to the meta layer. And yeah, I think this is the one I like the most. We really need to think of where to stand for the next opportunity. But right now, this is where we're going to go. The good thing is the other two will only be seeded with a tiny one power corruption. So it won't be really wor worrisome. Okay, improved reactor output. That's nice. I may have actually considered that this was going to finish so soon. Because now we are down to one servitor. And we will be down at one servitor for a long time. Maybe we can try to get this upgrade to 3, but for now we have to stick to the plan. Alright, so we'll hit start mission and the glorious deed offers you if you want to take it or not. And in this case we have to take less than 20 damage. Easy peasy, I think. So let's go! Uh, at this point, we have actually finished with the introductory mi missions. So now we're going to get the more common ones that you will face throughout the entire game. 
location identified as site of recent Astra Militarum defeat. All this ripe biomass provides a perfect spawning ground for the bloom. We must stop it here. So even though we have seen this type of map, or maybe this exact map before, because I don't really know how the procedural generation works, um, the results that come out of it will all vary. Now at this point, we only see one seed carrier patrol. Later on in the game, of course, this will get stronger, but that doesn't mean that there are no more patrols in the map. So I still have to be very careful about how I move. So, bit by little. And now we bring everyone here. Um, let's bring you... Yes, sir. Yeah. The Emperor lights our path. You have to move the longest way, so let's move you here. And we throw you here. Alright. Um, there is a danger though. As soon as you engage with the final group, all other patrols will start going in your direction. So it stands to reason not to rush in like an insane person. I'm gonna skip the turn for now. And we're gonna see what happens as we move around. Okay, so it seems like we'll be able to engage with the seed group directly. We are close. We will find them, Commander. But as we said, there are more groups abound. And do we want to take them on? That is the good question. Because the thing is, as soon as we engage this, we'll probably end up pulling the other group as well. Maybe I do want to take a detour, take care of them first. It will be done. And see what we do after that. Your orders. Moving out. Unleash me. Yes, Let's go here. Commander. We have not revealed them yet. Unleash me. Alright. And now there is something else that I want to do. My blade is and uh, that is that because I am planning to trigger them this turn. Wait, am I planning to trigger them this turn? <laughs> Maybe I don't trigger them this turn. Uh, but actually, if I don't, they're going to move into a much more awkward position. Okay, so we're going to give it a shot. Because we're going to trigger them this turn, and as I explained, when you go into combat and you get your AP reset, you don't start a new turn. We're going to apply the buff right now. To our melee fighter. Then that melee fighter is going to teleport. Hopefully trigger the encounter. Very good. And we only triggered one. Extra good. But let's see what the enemy does now. Should be moving around. Okay, so those two in the back are going to be the biggest problem. Can I somehow grenade them back in? Only one, maybe. Unleash me. Okay. I am here to serve. Let's get you here. On the way. Blow them all up. That's a beautiful shot, by the way. Very, very nice. Let's... If I get here, I still have two turns. Okay, four strike for 100% uh, of a kill. Yeah, let's go with that. Sadly, we played ourselves, but... Ah, wait. It is a problem because I cannot cleanse it this turn. Ah, whatever. And then... How do I bring this to me? I could do this. Pushing this guy way too far away. But uh, maybe in the explosion this guy dies at once. That would also be...
Grenade. Yeah, that did work quite well. And now. Um, oh, look at that. You can shoot from here. Well done, man. Good range. Can you shoot there? No. How much health does he have? Five. So actually, if I manage to shoot him for four from a position that doesn't reveal this group, that's kind of risky, right? There's a really good chance that I reveal them. In that case, we're going to fall back. Sadly, for the last turn, we won't be able to bend th that. He's actually in cover right now. No? No, no, he's not. Even that would not be covered. I could also shield up. I think that may end up being the best option. What does he have? Uh, it's just an, a melter gun? Yeah. So it's three damage. I think I'm okay taking one. Uh, I'll be taking two from the plague, which is annoying. Unleash me. Is there anything else I could do with you, though? Doubt it. Uh, I can actually give this guy an extra three. Yeah, let's do that. So extra turn to the skull guy. Skull guy heals the affliction. Prevent two damage. Gratitude. And uh, I guess I need to reload. And then the last guy will just shield up. Okay. So the second group saw us, but since it activates on enemy turn, we are not uh, in danger of being overwhelmed by them right now. Alright, so they shot at the person we imagined. That worked out quite fine. And that's exactly why we wanted to go on the side, because uh, if we don't pay attention, we can easily get overwhelmed. Okay, so... How can I deal with all of this? There is an explosive right there, that's nice. Still probably not enough to take care of all of this. We still do have the buff, which I would love to try to keep. We can do a force strike here, uh, but maybe if we move this I unit a little bit. Actually, not just a little bit. Maybe we move it to a position to do another AoE. Or we just go here to have a great shooting position. Let's do a first move here. Maybe we can shoot at the crate. There we go. See what remains after this explosion. This one will fall. Nice. Even the cover was destroyed. That's really good. Okay, we're gonna leave it there. Yes, Commander. Um, I could start a killing spree by running in this into this guy. So, I can kill this, have one more turn remaining, and then kill this with a crit. That means a lot of people survive. Are there any... Um... So you are extra dangerous, but are there any bomb guys? You can always count on them not doing anything useful. Nope, they're all very heavy in their guns. Okay. So without bomb guns, a little bit dangerous to just step out in the open. Uh, and not to forget, we still have to deal with that group at some point. So. My blade is ever ready. 
very happy for your blade. But I have a situation right now. Okay, let's start using some skills. I would like this guy to no longer have a weapon. That is one less. I would like this guy to be dead. Are we sure we don't trigger the other? Yeah, it looks good. Sadly, we don't have the get action back from crits yet. But that will be really useful. Are we still far enough? I would say so. Okay, then we can disappear this person. Goodbye. So to the unworthy Emperor lights our path. Let's give him another action so that he doesn't stay out there in the open. And we see what we can do with it. Uh, at the very least, we can teleport away. Right? That's already a possibility. I also want to check. If we throw this, we actually kill one and a half. But then we are left in the open. What if I throw it from this side? Ooh, that's pretty good. Except, ah, I can hit both from there. Alright, so if we do this and we trigger the other patrol, we'll be in... Very deep trouble. If we don't, if we don't, we'll be okay. And I think I would like to take this move kind of early, so that we see the result. Please don't pull. Please don't pull. Very good. Even if they trigger on the next turn, I am okay with that. If I move here, I will certainly pull them. So that's the problem. That tells me I probably need a grenade. Is there no position that allows me to shoot at them easy? No, I think they are behind high cover and that's really the problematic part. And I'm a little bit afraid of going into melee because of that other patrol. So let's throw you around with this. you in cover again, Face but not as bad. Praise the Emperor. So how do we Standing get you? Ready. I can go here and shoot at him. Probably not get shot back because of the distance. So it's two... How much health? Two health. Can I shoot at you from here? Oh, actually I can. You know what? Diable. Usually you want to maximize the use of your abilities when uh, the warp surge is already at 100%. Because in that case you're not misusing your powers in any form. Or accumulating too much warp uh, in that direction. Now because that guy has no longer an arm, I don't need to worry about his range. Uh, I can move my units here, forward. And this guy should probably... Yeah, reload. Armed and ready. Let's see what happens. Okay, first shot. Oh, it's just a suppression. Excellent. And uh, now a melee punch for one. Very innocent. And this guy will probably shoot. Yeah. That hits for two. Very nice. There will be reinforcements coming from the back. That is okay. We are still the Emperor's Chosen. Can I shoot at you? No. Can I get closer and shoot at you? So at here I shoot for four. Here I shoot for two. Might as well get close. Okay. What can the others do? Uh, you are the flag carrier. I would like to use you twice. You cannot even get... Ah, no. Actually, you can shoot. But let's get you here. Oh, 
We're not gonna take the shot yet. Um, from this position it's 2 damage and I have 2 ammo. So I can stay back here, shoot twice. Yeah, I like that. Yes, sir. My blade is yours. But actually, I no longer like it. Hmm. So I need two more damage. Can you provide two more damage? I have no gun. Oh, you do. Ah, oh, this guy had the extra range. I forgot about that. But that explains a lot. Okay, how close can you get to deal that damage? Pretty good. Yep, let's do that. And this is one of the main differences with XCOM. Uh, putting your guys in the open while scary is not the end of your world. Ooh, Psybolt brings it down to 3. Yeah, but I kind of need his uh, willpower. So we're gonna go like this. And more. One more. And one final shot for the kill. Very good. And now our super melee guy can take care of this. Um, let's move around to punch from up here. Oh, we got a crit. Uh, sure, let's stun. <clears throat> um, we still have one more turn, so let's kill it. I am the Emperor's Fury. Yeah, you are. And then finish this off. We Mercy in death. Okay. Now the reinforcements should come in. Not yet. Do not relent until you found me another seed. So because of the let's call it bad positions this turn and that uh, the enemy is already pulled uh, I'm gonna have to stick behind high cover which is of course the safest place to be but I need to be careful before I do that to check their weapons because if they have the grenade guy I will be losing many many turns nope. and nope. good so no one has the grenade. Let's move you here. As you command. You can go here. Moving swiftly. Here. I am with you. Get there. My blade is yours. And get here. Onward, <clears throat> no. So even though I killed all the enemies, the combat didn't count as ended because the reinforcements were coming in. My blade is ever ready. Killed. Do I want to put some overwatch? Eh, maybe a little bit. Like this. Oh god, please don't shoot. Standing ready. And uh, we're gonna pass. See what happens. Move in. Maybe suppression. No, they just shot at us. Even though we're in high cover. Sure. Then Overwatch, Overwatch. Okay. So, first things first, which I already forget, forgot to do. We're gonna heal up our guy. He's probably gonna get wounds this time. I don't think I treated him nicely. I'm a bit surprised that I could be shot. I cannot shoot him though, because fairness. Okay. So I can get up here for now and begin a shooting spree. Let's do that. Okay, that is a nice hit. I like it. Take it. Titan. Good. 
fall. Um, do we want to throw a grenade here? No, I don't think I do. Praise the Emperor. Do I want to give him warp speed though? Oh. Yeah, I kind of do. He's just so good at critting. This Unleash me. Let's unleash him over here. See if we spot the fourth guy, that should be somewhere. Second, please. Ah, please give me a second. Uh, we need this guy to go, so we remove him. Justice. And this guy would be great if he died. So we're just gonna do a normal attack because it's still 40% chance to crit. Not get a crit. Okay. What else? We need to stop that guy. <laughs> Two damage, three damage. They have eight health. I am here and with you, serve. I could go three damage as well. Very good. And four damage over there. Can I get four damage here? Yeah, that actually is cheaper. Okay, one second, please. Alright, so that guy is dead, um, this guy should have 3, very good, 3 willpower. Now we only need to take care of that guy over there, so let's get here. Both these positions are 3 damage, make sure we're not triggering another contact, good. Seeking the tainted. Scary. Hit you for three damage. Can you shoot from there? Yeah, I can shoot from here. It's actually six damage if I shoot all three rounds. There is the last guy. Okay, so this guy is gonna get hit. Unless I do no nothing about it. Okay, then let's just take shots. One, two, three. Okay, sadly it seems like we have seen the right patrol of the seed. So we won't be able to use the tricks. This guy got really close, got a really good hit in. There it is. Commander, and yeah. harvest the seed from that creature's flesh. So particularly, this group has uh, two ranged enemies. That is the problem. Okay, so I wanted to say something when the time came, but uh, I guess the time has come now or is has been thrown upon us. Seeds are stored in parts of the enemy's body, so the way to get them out of it is through a crit. That's why we took some of the abilities that force a crit in order for us to harvest seeds easier. 
Um, once you hit, for example, this uh, point, then the unit, even if it doesn't die, would be uh, the seeds will be harvested. If you kill the target with a crit, sorry, with a precision crit, to be clear, uh, you don't need to worry. Even you don't get, even if you don't get this window, uh, the crit will take care of grabbing the seeds. So the only way to miss the seeds with a crit is using a normal ranged attack which then deals crit damage, but also kills the target. So, in general, if you're critting, you are probably safe. Okay, so, what we can see is that uh, there's a big enemy group over here, and we're gonna find a cool way to avoid the ranged fire and still deal some good damage on the oncoming hordes. Will I be able to do that? Yeah, I think I, I can see how. First things first, this guy needs to take some vengeance for what happened here. So he only has two clips. Ah, that's a problem. Well, is it really a problem? What if I go here and I shoot for four twice? I like that option the most. Because we know the patrol has moved away, we are free to fire here. No devil shall elude my gaze. There we go. I must sanctify my rounds. Sanctifying your rounds means reloading, by the way, in Warhammer speak. So if we were to run through the fire to be able to toss this, I don't think we deal any significant damage in any position. So let's not do that. Instead, what we're going to do is find a high cover position that is useful to us, like this, <clears throat> and stick around for a turn. Actually, I could even go all the way to here. Use up all the turns, it's okay. I want them to funnel through this corridor so that we can then shoot them easier. And uh, I gotta be very careful with this overwatch. You can see there the tiny line and dot, which would means we would peek out the corner. But out in the corner we have no cover, so we would just get shot. So we're gonna overwatch instead in this direction. So if anyone gets really, really close in melee, we'll be able to shoot at them. And specifically for you, we're just gonna reload. I have sanctified my run. And pass. Now, once again, we are reaching a turn where the warp surge is very close. <laughs> so we'll be able to use all of our abilities without fear. I think we were sufficiently distant not to get hit, but maybe I got it wrong. And overwatch is fine. Yeah, so we got that right. And now... There are some cool things to show about melee units in general. There is something called an attack of opportunity. You as a player can use it as well. And the rules are simple. If you are in melee contact with another unit and you have a melee weapon, if the other person moves on their own will out of your range, not if you blow them up, you get a free attack. This is very useful uh, when you disarm enemies, when you... Um, taunt enemies to go to someone else when you know that the enemy will try to run or anything like this. Uh, but in this particular case, this is what melee enemies do to you. They want to get really close to you. So the question now is how do we liberate this situation? The answer is actually very simple. It all starts with a charge. We'll make ourselves faster and stronger. Because step one, I want to reach this place and liberate this flank. Very good. Then I want to move over here and uh, use the crit to kill this guy and get the seed. Getting the seeds will trigger another event. I am aware of this, but I am not afraid of this. There we go. So there will be more reinforcements arriving next turn. 
We're now supposed to stay alive for two turns, but I think it will be very easy for us to do that. And now we have an interesting choice. No, actually we don't have it. We cannot get there. Okay. And let's see what else we can do. The big pox guy is there. So I think I can move here now. And take a good shot at everyone. Shot number one. This guy will no longer have an arm. Very good. Of course, removing someone's weapon disables Overwatch for obvious reasons. Shot number two. AOE. Sadly, we are missing one ammo. We could give ourselves an extra turn. Yeah, that kills three people. I think I would do that. The Emperor lights our path. So we're gonna give ourselves an extra turn. Strike all, then we're gonna reload. And maybe I should have checked this first. But had I known the correct order, it would have been better to do uh, the AOE first and the shot later. In any case, we advance with our current results. Three enemies down. And we are technically not in melee of this unit over here. So I can move over here. And force strike this down. And with the remaining turn of this guy, he's out of ammo. Ah, that sucks. What is your will? Hey, you know what? You were already hurt. So I think I'm going to make you hit here. Or strike. Yeah, so we're gonna take the explosion once again. Unless we get a crit. We did not get a crit. And then we're gonna heal him. With the Apothecary. Sadly, this doesn't remove the debuff. But we'll have accumulated so much health that uh, it ticks down differently. Okay, mm I guess I need to reload. The reinforcements will come in from the back. However, we should be fine dealing with them. So taking one damage here is irrelevant. The other patrol is trying to get to us, as we mentioned. And there we go. That is one grenade launcher guy. So there are two options now that we have. We could either try to kill them all in order to get more experience. Or we could just run away for two turns. That is also possible. I will have to think about what I want to do. But I certainly want to get rid of this idea first. And if I'm lucky, I want to get this. Um, there are bloom seeds thrown around. And just grabbing them gives you a willpower and a seed. Seed is a resource, therefore we grab it. If it's on the way, if it's not too bad, then it's a great idea to get. Alright. And uh, I think... For now, it will be a good idea to run away. So I'm gonna put this guy here. He has warp speed. It's crazy that he can get there in one turn. So what could we do? Unleash me. Okay, without ammo, things will look more grim. You also need to reload. If it wasn't for that, I think we would have a great case here. So we're gonna move into this position. And reload. I'm gonna get you here. So the warp search disabled teleportation for five turns. So I don't think we'll be using that trick anytime soon. Uh, you can overwatch in this direction. He will take two more damage, but it's nothing compared to what he already took. Taking position. 
Then move this guy back and... I have sanctified my rounds. Alright, we'll have one more turn to survive after this one. I see one. Loading grenade. <laughs> grenade loaded. Ah! The others move closer and maybe some overwatches. No, actually they get danger close. Okay, and now I have two options. I can either look into the case of killing them all. Or just uh, run away, letting them survive, basically. But uh, getting me extracted without any more damage taken. Your orders? Very interesting option in both this cases. Uh, sadly, I don't have the mana to give myself warp speed again. So I think I'm gonna opt for the version where we run away. Would also set up a nice ambush. No, 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 no. Actually, I will get it. Okay. We run away. In other missions, uh, the reinforcements would be much more numerous, which is why running away makes more sense. But in this one, we have a warp event that spent one of the reinforcements midway. Uh, that's why there was another portal in the middle of the mission. And that's why there are so few right now. However, I don't have the tools right now to fight them all. And I really do not want to risk taking more damage and lo losing the uh, challenge portion of this. this way, out of sight. Attack! Kill them all! Okay, an overwatch is irrelevant because the mission is over. And we did it! We took some damage, actually a lot more than I expected. But here we are. Let's see who gets wounded, and then we can talk about wounds. Because we're still talking about Space Marines. They have three hearts, they have five kidneys or whatever. Okay, so, as expected, we got the, the mission complete, we got the glorious deed done. Move on to the next step. Many rewards as you like. Unspent requisition can be used after future missions or at the next Grandmaster's report. And that's the thing. If I choose not to grab these things right now, uh, I will lose the opportunity. So we have to think about what we want to do. Oh, come on. Sorry. Sometimes the glasses don't protect me correctly. <laughs> okay. So let's evaluate what's going on. I look at this weapon and I know the base stats of the hammer. The hammer deals 4 damage, just as it says down there. I wish I could show with the mouse. Uh, where the little blood droplet, that's the damage value of this weapon. So this weapon has the same as the base base one. Therefore the increase is not good. Uh, not there. Uh, force strike deals plus 2 extra damage on uh, hammers at any point. So that's also not improved. But what you can get is knockback. Uh, the target is pushed back from its current position. So this hammer pushes people away. Kinda cute, not really a great thing. There is at the bottom something that is shown as disabled. Green lock, upgrade. So what this means, uh, upgrade option, it even says there. Later on in the game we'll find a way to open this lock, which currently costs green or calling it a color, uh, and then that effect will be added to the weapon permanently. But of course, since there are many weapons and there are many soldiers, uh, choosing where to use these seed unlocks will be also interesting somewhere down the line in the future. Right now, all I can tell is that this weapon can grow into a hammer that pushes and immobilizes. Honestly, that's not interesting at all. This, however, Already look at the differences. Uh, this one gives me just uh, in. Let me, let me rephrase. Beyond the baseline stats of the normal uh, Dreadnought arm, uh, Terminator armor, there is a willpower effect. And this knight has plus two max willpower. This basically gives me more mana for having this equipped. This is actually a great piece of armor especially at tier 1, so I'm gonna buy it. And then, as we mentioned, the war gear is just a passive thing, 
This knight gains plus 2 crit damage for the rage attacks. Hmm. Do I want this? I think I'm gonna buy it because it feels useful for the future. Confirm, confirm. Alright, so the Interceptor actually got hurt, as we predicted, but we didn't get to see how much because promotions are here. Ulrich, let's improve this ability, because that makes it amazing. Alright, so with the improvements, then extra war gear slot, okay. Actually, that may be a great idea. Yeah, let's do that. So, um, the base ability used to give uh, one action point for two willpower. Or one willpower, sorry. With this, we can passively upgrade it to give two action points for two willpower. And with this third option here, we can oomph the ability with two extra willpower, so for a total cost of four, to give three action points and one willpower. Three action points at the cost of one action point. I don't need to explain why this is amazing. Um, however, this middle ground option here allows me to equip one extra war gear slot beyond the grenade. So I'm going to take that one because uh, we are increasing the use of the mana of this hero. So to, to such an intensive point where having an item that gives me more mana is a great idea. Or is it right now? Do I want this? Uh, I could also go for Terminator Armor. Actually, Terminator Armor also gives me willpower. Even plus two. So yeah, we're gonna pick that. We wanted to go there anyway, so it doesn't... It's not a crazy request. Okay, so... Um, Purgators on the other side are great at shooting at things. I have a few options here. I could either go into Sanctified Kill Zone, which uh, basically applies plus two damage taken to every move uh, for everyone. This is a great ability. Or I could start specializing in hitting crits. For example, uh, with Mental Focus, where every time this uh, knight crits, I get uh, a chance for an action back. Okay, and then this would allow the crit to Pierce armor, that is super useless. Alright, so my options are here or here. I think I like the idea of crits and getting turns back. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. So we're gonna go this way for now. And the Interceptor. He also can go insane with mini crits. So I'm gonna go here and here. Uh, but the teleport is really good. Okay, so we're gonna increase the teleport range. Okay, 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 okay. I will continue down this path soon. But for this level, I want to grab this ridiculously good ability. Um, what this ability does is... Every time someone shoots a target that this guy is close to, he shoots them too, right? Support fire. Uh, and it always deals 2 damage, right? So that's a fixed thing, doesn't matter how close or how far you are, doesn't matter if the enemy is on cover, um, but that's just how it is. And following this path, I'll be able to trigger this multiple times, and I'll be dealing more damage with that attack. Alternatively, I could go the route of crits, and start landing more critical hits, and getting turns back for landing critical hits. You know what? I'm gonna go this way first. Honestly, I really like a lot of these promotions, and it makes sometimes it really hard. Okay. Sometimes knights get wounded. However, wounds in this game doesn't mean that you cannot field the operative, unless it's really, really critical. Uh, it only means that if you field them, they will have less max hit points. And uh, there's something that's kind of weird in the game. You cannot couple wounds together. So right now this guy will heal in 28 days. Unless I get him killed, this will be this thing. So as long as I keep him alive with those reduced hit points, he won't get gravely wounded on top. He won't get 
double light wounded on top. So all it does is tell me this guy will be harder to use for a few missions. But other than that, he should be fine. And with that, we're happy. We should study this seed at once. Everything rests on what... Okay. So we can now research the seed. However, there's another research that I actually wanted to start a lot earlier, and I missed. And that is the warp field penetration research. With this, we'll be able to... Ah, uh, wait. Do I want to do that? Or this? Now nah, let's go for this one. Uh, with this, I'll be able to unlock stratagems, which are a one-time special card use permission that allows you to do something extraordinary. For now, we are going to research the ability to equip those, and later we're going to see what research we do to use them. In the end, the mission is done, and we won't be able to proceed until the next. So, uh, sorry, we won't be able to reach the others in time. So what we're going to do instead is... Uh, we're going to park in this system because these new places will get corrupted and uh, there's a good chance that they will try to spread to the neighbors. Really, is there such a good chance? Commander, my servitors have flagged some interesting chatter from a nearby way station of the Officio Medicae. They appear to have been inoculating their patients against the effects of the bloom. We should travel to the facility and investigate. I will mark its location on the star map. Okay. So, a new event has triggered, and it's also timed. It will be a great idea to go visit it. There's a thing that may happen when we get there, and that is that uh, missions will happen, or they will get on the way. And this place may even require me, as part of its event, to stay put for a few days. And that's uh, kind of dangerous. consuming to understand their process all right so with this option we lose no time with this option we lose some time with this option we lose a lot of time uh, each will have different results this will probably piss off Vakir lowering our research again um, but I don't remember exactly what the others give and I don't want to go around checking in wikis uh, to see what the best result would be so I think I'm going to spend only some time, because I feel the next missions are about to come. A wise choice. I right. prepared my interrogator servo skull for just such an occasion. Perfect. So we're going to get uh, five days delayed, and our only option is to advance time. However, do we have three servitors? No, sadly. Okay, so this is the number of servitors we can keep an eye here. Ah, there we go. Three new bloom seeds, and the problem is, of course, we are locked for a few days. Things could not have happened in a more perfect way for the bloom, but what can you do? Here, one servo school that's interesting, servitors interesting, win without using willpower will be tricky, but also interesting. Um, kill four enemies with grenades, we could do that. Honestly, I don't know if we can reach such a place. It's so distant. Then, uh, halberd, power armor, equipment, kill eight enemies with melee weapons, that's easy. Okay, so, both this planet and this planet are trying to advance to tier 2. What am I more afraid of? Um, actually, I think it will be better to let these two finish and complete this one so that I can stick to this portion of the galaxy, that makes no sense, wait, I can stick here, be close, I can stick here, oh yes, I like that. Uh, so I will let these two grow, I will go to this one as soon as I am allowed to, uh, but right now we are stuck for two more days, the event should end now. bodies are too fragile to withstand its rigors. All of their patients were either seriously ill or expired by the time I arrived. However, 
We have been able to apply our learnings from this method to benefit our knights, boosting their psychic resistance against the enemy's afflictions. Cool. So now we have a permanent passive, uh, thanks to us spending some time there, uh, of experimental inoculation. And if I'm correct, this gives me 5% resistance. Now, the only reason we're able to reach this mission and not the other two is because of the prognostica that we deployed here. So we have the three extra days that allow us to reach in time. That's pretty good. However, um, as we used to do... Never mind. You know what? We're gonna go in. Servitors. Corruption. Win the mission without using willpower. Let's do that. And in order to do that better, I'm gonna need this guy to use his Terminator armor. Very cool. Uh, so we have the skulls to heal. Yeah, I think we're ready to go in. Okay. However, as we used to do in our XCOM campaign, now that we're on to longer, more constant missions, we're going to start, hit start, and end the episode here. Uh, I'll be taking a tiny break, eat some food, then we'll come back later. Thank you all very much for watching and see you next time.